Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Adobe Stock who want you to turn your passion into earnings. Now since you're already going out to shoot photos and make videos, you might as well submit them to Adobe Stock. It's really simple to upload your images directly from Lightroom, Bridge, or your browser. What's even better is that they'll tell you what types of photos and videos they're looking for, so basically, you can turn it into a little game. For more information, head on over to bit.ly slash frostock. First up, how many stories do we have to have about the selfie-taking monkey named Naruto? Can this please be the last one? It can be only one. Now, if you're not familiar with the story, it dates back to 2015 when a macaque by the name of Naruto stole David Slater's camera and snapped this selfie. David thought, sweet, I have this cool monkey selfie and I could make some money off of this. Well, PETA, which stands for People for Eating Tasty Animals, had different ideas. They filed suit against Slater, claiming that the monkey owns the rights to the images because it took it. So Dan, does that mean my cat owns the copyright to Frishness Math News for Dingo? You know, because he fell asleep on my keyboard? Fast forward to this week when the 9th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in San Francisco upheld a lower court ruling that had previously previously reached the same conclusion. The court said, and I quote, the Copyright Act does not expressly authorize animals to file copyright infringement suits. They added fuel to the PETA pig roast by saying, PETA appears to have failed to live up to the title of friend. In the wake of PETA's proposed dismissal, Naruto is left without an advocate, his supposed friend having abandoned Naruto's substantive claims in what appears to be an effort to prevent the publication of a decision adverse to PETA's institutional interests. That's right. I got that all right. Thank you, Dan. Don't need to do that again. PETA hasn't said whether or not they will appeal this decision and waste more money and put more money into their lawyer's pocket by the name of Jeff Kerr, but Jeff Kerr had this to say. Naruto should be considered the author and copyright owner, and he shouldn't be treated any differently from any other creator simply because he happens not to be human. Hey, guess what, Jeff? You need to learn to drop the word should because the court just served you a hot dish of foie gras. Dan, is it duck or is it goose? Or is it duck, duck? Goose, or is it a Tadurkin? Next up, is DxO in trouble? It's been reported that DxO Labs, not DxO Mark, has gone into receivership in France as a bankruptcy proceeding has been opened. Of course, I don't know much about bankruptcy laws in Paris, but I do know that they have a lot of dogs that sit in cafes. <coughs> For those who don't know, DxO Labs and DxO Mark are two separate companies. DxO Mark does all those amazing camera ratings that mean nothing in the real world, and DxO Labs is in charge of mostly software like Photolab, Filmpack, Nick, as well as the amazingly successful DxO1 flop. I mean, camera. I actually own one of those. I shot Dan's wedding with that. You're right, I shot Dan's wedding with the DxO1 when his wedding photographer failed to show up. As of now, there's been no word from DxO Labs about what this means for the future of their business. But for the sake of my friend Demarcus, who works for them, I hope it turns out okay. If only we could get DxO Mark to go bankrupt, we'd be in business. And they'll be out of business. Get it? Is Nikon's Pro mirrorless camera closer to being released than expected? Well, according to Japanese business news outlet Sankey Biz, the camera is advancing at a rapid pace, and Nikon hopes to have the camera out by March of 2019. Though I'm not sure how anyone was able to translate this article, so I guess we'll just have to take Petapixel's word for it. They also said Nikon could possibly show the camera off at a large-scale overseas exhibition, which pretty much means I may have to head back to Germany to attend the next Photokina. Anybody want some Kolsch? Not me. Because beer sucks. You're all fur coat and no trousers, you are. There's no doubt in my mind that Nikon is working on a mirrorless pro camera. Do you know how I know? Naruto told me. <laughs> And finally, Smug Mug has acquired the once prominent photo site Flickr from Yahoo for an undisclosed amount of money. Dan, they actually traded a donkey and a bag of baseballs for Flickr. Smug Mug says the deal will create the most influential photography community in the world. No, that community has already been created and it's called Pentex for Life. 
Now, if you're unfamiliar with Smug Mug, they started back in 2002, and according to the Wikipedia, it's a paid image sharing image hosting service and online video platform. One of my favorite features of Smug Mug is their photo ordering platform that pretty much allows people to purchase images at whatever price you set. They get them printed, paid for, and shipped all without you having to do very much. And better yet, you make most of the money from it. Flickr, on the other hand, has pretty much been lying dormant since 2012 when Marissa Mayer, no relation to John Mayer, gave everyone one terabyte of free storage and then proceeded to ignore the community. I've been a Flickr Pro member since 2008 and have had over 68 million views. Go me! So what does this mean for the 10 Flickr users left? I mean, millions of Flickr users, right? Well, SmugMug has pledged to invest in Flickr and restore it to its former glory. Which is what, Dan? A place for me to look for nudes? SmugMug plans on migrating Flickr's back-end infrastructure over to its servers, but maintains that the two companies will remain separate. What this sounds like to me is a cheap and effective way for SmugMug to acquire new potential customers that may not have considered their service in the past. I was honestly waiting for the day where I got news that Flickr was being shut down and thousands of my photos would disappear from my website. Now what do you think about this deal? Do you even care? Let me know down below. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix. This time around to check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's it, Jared Poland, Frono's photo.com. See ya.